this is Glendon Cameron with How to Make a Living Without a Job. There's a lot of things that go into that, but to give you a little help, in this video, you'll get to listen to the first chapter of The Hustler Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. So, check it out. Hopefully you get something out of it, and I'll see you on the good side. The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. Copyright. March 2013. All rights, expressed and unexpressed, are the sole ownership of Conundrum Media. No part of this audiobook may be reproduced, shared, or duplicated in any shape, fashion, or form without written permission from the publisher. Chapter 1. Why did I write this book? Before we get into that, I think I should tell you a little bit about me. I grew up in the South, a place of long days, barbecue, good families, and a very deep level of conservatism. What you were exposed to as a child can stay with you for the rest of your life. For some, that's a great thing. For others, it can be a damning event. I grew up in Adamsville, Alabama, a small town just outside of Birmingham. For the most part, it was mostly good. There were some values that I was giving as a child that really did not work well for me as an adult. And it was an excruciating process to rid myself of those beliefs. The reason I'm writing this book and giving it to you straight with no chaser and then unvarnished form is the things that I've learned literally changed my life. And I want to help other people on that journey. I was going on my morning walk a few weeks ago and I was hit with the revelation that the reason that I did these things, I went through these experiences, was to share with you. I've always had a different point of view, a different way of looking at the world. So that's the reason that this book was written, to help you live a better life. Wrong mindset ensures failure. You can have the best tools, the best education, the best resources. If your mindset is corrupted, it can all go to pieces. One of the things that I learned at an early age, but I didn't really understand, the the mind of a child still is forming and shaping. Some concepts are bigger than that mind can handle. But I do remember whenever I firmly fixed my mind on a goal and believed that I could do it, it usually happened. I attributed it to hard work, being at the right place at the right time, hustling. Then you have those moments. It was about 32 and my brother said, You're always happy. No matter what goes on, you just have this we can make it happen, can do attitude. How did you develop that? I had no I had no answer. I had absolutely no answer for my brother. It's just a natural part of my personality. Little did I know that element of who I am is one of the reasons that I am more successful than intellect, talent, resources, and other things that people would say make you successful. I grew up poor, but I was always able to get everything that I needed and many of the things that I wanted through imagination and thinking about it. And I developed a habit that I didn't know would help me later in life. If you're in your mid-30s 
or 40s, you remember the Sears and Roebuck big catalog. They would send it out. And it was all of this stuff, lawnmowers, sporting equipment, guns. I, I just went through the whole thing. I would take a piece of my tablet paper. Back then we had tablets. And I would sit down and I would write out a wish list. I would actually sit down and take my time and write slowly about all the things that I wanted. I remember some of those lists. Everything that I wrote on those lists as a child came to pass. I didn't know that I was actually learning how to be successful by casting the right mindset into the future. The only thing that was missing from my lesson, I had goals, I had desires, I wrote them down. But I didn't have a plan of execution, nor a timetable. Even lacking those two critical components, the things that I wrote down on those tablet sheets years and years ago, all came to pass. By having the right mindset, and I will not tell you it's a positive mindset, it's more of a capable mindset. When you set out on a journey, You get in your car, you turn the key, you press your foot on the accelerator, you are 110% certain that you're going to go from point A to point B. It doesn't even phase you. Maybe a slight traffic delay would happen, maybe an accident or something unforeseen, but even with that, it just delays you because 99.8% of the time, you usually arrive at your destination. When you're able to mentally have that same level of confidence, you can have the same results in virtually any and every endeavor you set your mind to accomplish. The proper mental state is more important than anything else on the table for the following reason. You are unaware that your heart is beating. You know it's beating. You're unaware that your brain is processing things, but you know it's processing because you're alive and breathing. These passive things that go on in our body, there's another region of the brain where there's this self-talk. When you express a negative thought, it goes through a step-up converter And it cycles throughout your brain hundreds of times, carving itself on your cortex. All right. I know you love that. So tap that bar right there and you can get the whole edition. Groom your mind for success. And I highly suggest that you listen to the audio book, not once, not twice, not two times, not three times, not four times. And that's actually five. But Five or six times. The more that you listen to it, the more that these concepts and principles will sink in. And that's why audio learning is one of the best ways to absorb information. All right, this is Glendon Cameron. Tap that bar. There's a special for you. Just hit that and you'll be golden. All right, this is Glendon Cameron. Thanks for listening to the audio book and I'll see you on the good side.